Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some exciting news to share about the upcoming Elementary OS 8. The team has been working hard to bring some amazing new features and improvements. So, let's dive right in. First things first, if you're currently using Elementary OS 7, you may notice fewer updates moving forward. The team's primary focus has shifted to the development of the upcoming OS 8 series, which will bring significant architectural changes. While some updates won't be backported to OS 7, don't worry if you're using Flatpak packages. They'll continue to receive updates indefinitely. This includes all your favorite App Center apps, sideloaded Flatpak apps, and a large portion of the pre-installed apps. And for those of you on OS 7, Rest assured that you'll continue to receive regular maintenance updates from Canonical until 2027, as OS 7 is built on the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS repositories. Now, let's talk about the exciting updates on OS 8's roadmap. Currently, OS 8 is being developed from the Ubuntu 24.04 repositories, which means we can expect it to arrive no earlier than April 2024 as that's when Ubuntu 24.04 is set to be released. If you're eager to track the progress and goals of OS 8, the elementary OS team has set up a release planning project on GitHub. This project outlines the targeted goals for OS 8 and keeps you updated on the team's progress. Now, let's talk about some of the ambitious goals for OS 8. One major highlight is the adoption of the Wayland Display Server protocol as the default. The elementary OS team has been working tirelessly on this transition, and users in the Early Access program already have access to an experimental Wayland session of the Pantheon desktop for testing. With this transition, a new dock is in the works, as the current plank is incompatible with Wayland's security model. The team has also started work on a new Wayland-compatible window matching API that communicates directly with Gala, the elementary OS window manager. The transition to GTK4, which began in OS 7, continues into OS 8. This shift has brought significant improvements in code, performance, and accessibility, promising a smoother and more responsive Pantheon experience. System settings and the indicator area are also getting some attention in OS 8. Responsive design improvements are on the horizon, ensuring that system settings can adapt to various devices. The indicator area is being reimagined with a quick settings menu design to accommodate responsive context, although completion of this project may extend beyond the OS 8 release. So there you have it, folks. The elementary OS team is hard at work, bringing ambitious goals to enhance your user experience and performance in OS 8. While OS the 7th of May receive fewer updates going forward, you can expect a dynamic and feature-rich OS 8 when it finally arrives. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting updates. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.